is my girl. She was running away because I wasn't cuddling her enough, right? I thought I was trying to get my phone on. And there's Pearl. What are you doing, pup? We're chasing the bees. There's the girls. You keep getting my water. My watering can. Good morning. It's Barbara. I'm Barbara. Hello. It's kind of nice out today. Something went through. We had thunderstorms. It's uh, Saturday, June, July uh, 25th. Tomorrow's the 26th, which means my niece's birthday is the Monday. No. Tomorrow would be my brother-in-law's birthday. I told you all about the 26th. So many people in my family, both in-laws and born are born on the 26th of a month different glasses I I was trying to I, I I was I turned the light on to get my my earrings a little organized these are earrings I made um, since I'm up so late Dennis was awake so I, I can't see in the dark you know it's hard to do my earrings in the dark. He said, well, put the light on. I said, no, I'd rather complain. <laughs> so I put a light on. I got my earrings just a tad organized so that I can find them in the dark, which is really kind of the point because I don't really want to wake them up. If I start getting up early again, which I didn't today, and I have apparently gotten water all over my glasses. Oh. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad it's a nice day. And apparently no thunderstorms for a few days, which Pearl will really appreciate. She was not a happy girl last night. And then when Dennis looks on his phone for the radar map of the weather, it's like, there's a thunderstorm cell right over our house. Nowhere else. Just, I mean, he said one of them was probably a quarter of a mile across. I don't know. So anyway, well, my knee is not hurting me today at all. I took my pills. I have my sneakers on. So knock on wood. That's nice. I made my two phone calls yesterday, which of course I haven't heard back from Michelle about my gutters, but I didn't call the doctor for a recommendation for a physical therapist, but I will do that next week. Oh, I'm getting my hair cut next week on Tuesday. I won't recognize myself. I'll just look like my mother in the mirror. <laughs> and as I have said before, my mother's a beautiful woman, so it's not it's so terrible to look like my mother, except she's 87. And I look like exactly like my mother. <laughs> we could be we could be sisters. I look more like her sister than her sister did. They looked very different. You would never know they were related. Oh, it's nice to be nice. I have got to go and check. I'm actually in the middle of making Dennis's tea. So I'll be right back. Oh well. <laughs> I made his tea. It was steeping. But um, I forgot to bring the buzzer out here and I saw how much time I had spent. And so I thought, ah, you know, but when I got in the kitchen, he was already there. He kind of hustled down the steps because he heard the, the alarm. <coughs> oh, well, I made him tea. <laughs> I wasn't going to carry it up anyway. I was just going to put it in a cup and say, hey, your tea's ready because I'm trying not to do the steps much. I am still taking good care of my knee, even though it doesn't hurt. Although, if it doesn't hurt in the early afternoon, I might I might help him walk the dogs. He's been walking the dogs by himself for the last couple days because my knee's been hurting me. Someone told me theirs took four months. To heal. Someone else told me on Instagram, because I mentioned it on Instagram yesterday, that 
We went to an orthopedist and had it fixed and presto chinjo, their knee's fine. So we shall see. Uh, apparently my cousin's recently had her knee done because she said, oh, did you have, so?" because she's texted me, did you have surgery? Me too. And she sent a picture of her knee all wrapped up. I'm like, no, I didn't have surgery. So apparently me and her husband had something a month ago done and surgery on his knee a month ago. So apparently knee things are a thing. I'm quite on trend. I'm quite on trend. So, oh, I'm so glad it's nice outside. I am. Um, I was laying in bed because I, I had trouble falling asleep. I didn't sleep well. So I was in bed for a long time. And I was thinking, oh, I didn't knit yesterday. I'm gonna have to tell everybody I didn't knit yesterday. And I thought, oh no, 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 no. Uh, uh, I can't start getting weird after 125 vlogs. That's, that's, when I first started podcasting, coming up on four years ago, September 10th, it'll be four years. Can you believe that? Um, for the first six months, I was podcasting every week. And, you know, podcasts take a really good hunk of your day when you do a podcast. And after six months, I realized that my crafting, which was knitting at that time, I wasn't doing cross-stitch. Apparently, I'm not doing that either now. <laughs> Uh, crafting, my crafting at that time started to be real. Hey, girls! Hi! Did you get your treat? Oh, off! Did you get your treats? Did you get your treats? Did they get treats when Dennis has his tea? And I guess then they're getting rowdy. Go ahead! In the grass. <laughs> That's how life is with 200 pounds of dog. Oh, you're crooked now. <laughs> so I started... <laughs> they both... We're, there are three gimpies in this house and then Dennis. Because <laughs> Mesa has a bad knee. Pearl still has her pulled muscle, which, you know, like when she runs around during the day and then, like, she lays down at night. She gets up and she's like... They're dogs. Really hard to stop them. And there's only a very small part of me that thinks I want to or should. This is their exercise. And this is why they have sisters. <laughs> they Why they have a sister. <laughs> anyway. Earthquake. <laughs> so I started to realize that what I was doing with my knitting was being extremely affected by the fact that I had a podcast on Monday or whatever day it was. Oh, I've got to do this or I won't have anything to show. Or I've got to do that or whatever, you know. And it really started to take a little bit of the fun out of the knitting and that's when I switched to podcasting every two weeks and that really made a big difference because then I was just like you know <coughs> excuse me because in two weeks you know and I wasn't doing vlogs, so I had, you know, I mean, I can do a 20 minute vlog every morning. I can talk, I'm a talker. So show a little bit of knitting, talk. It worked every two weeks without putting pressure on my knitting. So this morning when I was laying there thinking to myself, oh, you know, I read my book yes books yesterday. I hardly knitted. I thought, whoa, we're not going there. 
first of all, I'm not even showing you my knitting most of the time. So if I, what's the difference? What's the difference in the quality of the vlog? If I say, oh, I knit yesterday. I worked on my shawl versus, oh, I read a book yesterday and I started another one. You don't care. I'll even figure out the name of the book. The book, the first book I read is Ancillary ancillary justice and I'm now reading ancillary mercy if you like science fiction you'll like these these are really good I like I, 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 I like this character a lot the ancillary is, is the main character of these and I don't remember who wrote them but I will put it in the down bar if you're interested but basically you know, it's a space opera, so it takes place on other planets. And uh, this. But mostly among humans, there are a couple of um, other races, but mostly humans. And, but they have, this um, empire has had in the past, had um, manned their ships mostly with what they called ancillaries, which were like slaves. They were people that had been captured and put in stasis and then they had implants put in their brains and so they stopped being the person that they were and they were, you know, completely hooked into the ship, completely hooked into each other. So they were groups of 20 working with like one lieutenant and then and but they were automatons and not considered human and um, this main character of the book you know talk talks about how she ended up by herself her ship is gone blown up She's by herself. She's trying to really kind of, she's trying to take revenge or, you know, for 20 years. But she's an interesting character and in then it's about this society and how it changes or, you know, eventually. I'm pretty sure, I've read it before and I'm pretty sure book three has some big, cha big changes. But, um, it's interesting and I'm enjoying it and I'm like laying in bed saying, oh, I'll get this. I read. I actually did do a little bit of knitting because um, while I was watching the news, I picked up a couple of colors and tried to swatch that that diagonal pattern in mosaic, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I thought about, you know, going on YouTube and seeing if I could find something, but I don't think it's possible to do that particular pattern in mosaic because because of the way the two stitches and then the two stitches are offset. And you know, the, the point with mosaic is you're carrying the color from the row before down. And so if I have two pink stitches, two blue stitches, two pink stitches, and then below it I have a blue stitch under the pink stitch, and then two pink stitches, two blue stitches. It doesn't work because the colors don't line up correctly. Anyway, I couldn't figure it out. So I did do some knitting, but I put that down and then I just like chilled and then I started reading. Played a little EverQuest, played with my dogs, babied my knee. Oh, and I made some sort of a cross between a flan and a custard because all it, I, and I didn't use milk, I used heavy cream with some water to thin it out a little bit and lots of egg yolks and vanilla that's all it is and uh, I put I don't tell Dennis I put a couple drops of liquid Splenda in there which so it's about the equivalent of like three teaspoons of sugar in sweetness so I don't think it's gonna trigger an insulin response having I don't think it's gonna be so sweet in my mouth that it'll trigger an insulin response, but it will just notch up the sweetness a little bit. Heavy cream is very is sweet already. Um, 
And I wonder if that's why it ha it does have some carbs, very few carbs. <clears throat> like a cup and I may I put a cup and three quarters of heavy cream in this, which is twelve carbs. So it doesn't have a lot of carbs in it, but it has some. So if you put, you know, a half an ounce of heavy cream in your coffee, you're putting a half a carb, 0.6 or whatever. It's low enough so that two tablespoons doesn't count on the box as any carbs because it's under one. And that's how they do it. They round down. If you have any interest in. And so I made that. So I will have some dessert tonight, which is carnivore. Eggs and cream and vanilla. And a little salt and a little couple drops of sweetener. And baked in a bain marie. I know it's a bain marie because I watch cooking shows. Ha ha ha. I watch the great British Bake Off or whatever it is. Baking show. Bain Marie is a pan of hot water. Helps even out the temperature. So it cooks in a Bain Marie. Anyway, so it's, and you put nutmeg on top. So I have that in the fridge for tonight. So I have a dessert for tonight. Well, I haven't had dessert, anything desserty for over a week. But I'm still doing really well with my carnivore. And, uh,. And my weight is still going down, slowed down a little bit, which was to be expected because, you know, those first days you do that, it's water weight, a lot of water weight. But I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good. You know, my body feels good. And anyway, so that's the update on that. And he's okay. Didn't sleep well. I already told you all those things. House isn't power washed. I haven't heard back from Michelle, but she'll call me on Monday. That's it. I don't think I have any more newses. Oh, my granddaughter is on Messenger Kids. So I finally figured out how to use Messenger Kids. And so she and I were talking yesterday and we did videos. Of course, all she did, she's six, she'll be seven next month. Uh, next month today. No tomorrow August 26th 26th um, what was she, you know put filters on her face <laughs> so she just said they're putting filters on her face and she showed me her tooth missing tooth and so that was fun but uh, uh, talk about being a grandmother it took me two days to figure to get on to well it's because Facebook was so slow sending me the, the code but I don't remember what my pa my um, password is to Facebook I think I have a mental block I don't like Facebook I'm in some ways mad at Facebook so I don't participate in me I mean the reason I don't do Pinterest I don't really get Pinterest conceptually but I didn't get to Twitter either till I got on it and started you know whatever but so on some level I don't get Pinterest but I tried to sign up and it wanted to sign me up through Facebook and I said no I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm not doing that with Facebook I, you know it, it really bothers me the privacy intrusion and I know the young people these days don't even think about that. I'm a I'm an older generation, I guess. I worry about that. My father laughs and says, "You want to be immortal? Put yourself out on the internet. You'll be there forever." And people are finding that out, you know. People are finding finding that out now that they've grown up through the social media and now they're adults and people companies are <clears throat> Going through people's social media before they hire them to to figure out I don't know what whatever their criteria is that that they're looking for, but what kids are putting out on their social media is coming back to haunt them for a job, and uh, and you know and some of it's 
some of it's they're just stupid you know somebody got a job and then she tweeted out oh I got this shitty job at this shitty place but I need a job <laughs> guess who didn't get that shitty job <laughs> but other things are I, Dennis and I watch um, the news we watch is on d during the week it's on the the hill YouTube channel and the show that is called Rising, and it's an interesting premise, and I probably talked about it before, but Crystal Ball is a progressive, and Sagar and Jetty is a populist con conservative Republican, <laughs> and they're the hosts of the show. So they come at everything from, they're both populists, so they have that in common, so there's a lot of things they talk about that they have in common, but they have completely different takes on a lot of things. So I, I enjoy the show. Um, Crystal was a Bernie supporter, as was I. And, and not that I talk about politics too much, but I was. And, um, you know, so I enjoyed it during the uh, primaries, not so much now. But she came into the public eye 10 years ago, eight years ago, she ran for Congress in her, her and, and I think she was in Virginia at the time, in a, in a con congressional district in Virginia. And she was 28 at that time. And during that um, campaign, pictures of her from a party that she had been to when she was in college. And I don't know, she was dressed up like a French maid. And so they, you know, something like that, like a Halloween party. She was dressed like a French maid. And there were pictures of her that were, you know, kind of suggestive. I mean, you're a French maid, you know, it's a sexy costume. And so they were kind of suggestive, but they weren't in any way obscene. You know, they certainly were people, they were publishing them on the news. They were showing them on the news. They were putting them in whatever, you know. So they weren't obscene, but they were suggestive. And, you know, with her boyfriend at that time, who she is now married to. You know, this was her boyfriend, and then they got married later. So anyway, they have an interview with her while she was running in 2018, or whenever it was, when she was 28. And she was being interviewed on local television and asked about these pictures. And I really loved her response because she didn't apologize for the pictures, you know. And she said, you know, these were, you know, we, we were joking around. I was in college. This is, you know, this is the man I married. And she said the, pro the point of this whole thing is that every female candidate, my, you know, my age going forward in America is going to have, you know, have something in her past that somebody could, and have pictures of it that somebody could try to smear her with. You know, the, this is the lives we're living and this is how the world is now with social media and everything. And you know, if this is a, a problem that when I was 20 years old, you know, I was flirty and went to a party, then, you know, there's kind of no, I mean, I don't remember exactly what she said, but what she, her point was this is how the world is today and if this is going to be a barrier to me being elected in this congressional seat or anywhere then women in the united states going forward my age and younger are you know it's going to be bad because this we can't do this this isn't how we are and we shouldn't do this and you know things have to change anyway I thought it was pretty interesting and what happened was she lost that election but she um, ended up on MSNBC she had a show on MSNBC 
and then uh, she was too progressive for them and then so she got fired <laughs> well her show got canceled <laughs> so now she's doing this other show but I thought that was a really interesting point social media you know so I was a little not that thrilled when Isabel got on Instagram and her parent her, her I'm sure her parents are being very careful and they have you know this is messenger kids which um, you have to have a special code you have to be invited to be her friend and you know this kind of thing so it's not people just can't search the uh, messenger to find her and then find her but I hope But it's awfully early to start, and kids are not, you know, not thinking about the fa the effects of these things. And obviously, they have big effects. I mean, there are people committing suicide because of being canceled and harassed on social media and stuff. It's not a small thing. I mean, as an old person who, you know, I mean. But I understand, you know, if somebody came out and start, started saying things about me that made you guys not want to talk, listen to me anymore, it would make me sad. But it, I wouldn't commit suicide. <laughs> but I'm also not 13. You know, my hormones are not raging. I'm past, I'm past the raging hormone stage of my life, thank heavens. So anyway. How did I get on that? Oh. Because I'm on kid, Messenger Kids with this. <laughs> and all she's doing is changing her face and putting rainbows around her head and <laughs> stuff like that. Which I have no idea how to do. Or, frankly, much interest. But I will. I definitely will be the audience for that. So that she can do that to me anytime she wants. She has a tablet. And so she does, she does her... Communicating on her tablet. I guess I should stop talking because I have three videos and I'm already, this one's at over 23 minutes, so. <sighs> there you go. There's my thoughts on social media. <laughs> I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for joining me for my rants about whatever it is I'm ranting about. And um, I hope you're well and safe. And same with your families. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I don't have no idea what we're talking about. But I'll put other earrings on. I found some earrings to wear, so I'll have some more earrings. I found some earrings I didn't make that I like, but I'll wear them too. Because I don't want the vlog to be the boss of me. <laughs> I know you like to see the ones I made, but sometimes I'm not going to wear ones I made. Just like I stopped wearing sweaters when it got too hot. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my gosh, I got to go. Stay safe and stay sane.